Yo, what's up everybody? This is Adrian, the web scraping guy, and I'm going to show you how to scrape clutch.co. Clutch.co, very popular for like marketing people to scrape uh, to find leads. So I'm going to show you how to do that with Node.js. And before I get into that, pick up my course if you want to learn web scraping yourself, how to get clients and how to scrape stuff like this. So how to scrape clutch.co. I also have a free tool to do it. So if you don't want to build it, if you're not interested in that, then you can just enter the URL. So in this case, the URL, let's say if we want to find like influencer, uh, yeah, top uh, influencer marketing agencies, then you just grab the URL here, which is like the search URL and then paste it, enter your email and then start scraping. And then it takes several minutes. So you don't get the results for a while, but then it'll, the results will be emailed to you. So there's a ton of great data here in Clutch. Most important is the website because from the website, then you can extract emails and like owners, uh, like employees from there. So you can plug the website into hunter.io or Apollo and then get great information. So yeah, that is the thing that we really want, but it also has obviously all this other great data that you can filter by. So if you have a really specific niche that you're going after, then you can, um, it's a great data set. Only 8,000 companies, so that stinks, but um, yeah, Clutch has a ton. So if you're looking to do this yourself, then what we're gonna do is always right click, inspect element, head to network tab, clear, and then head filter by fetch XHR, because when we paginate, then it's going to make a network request. It's gonna make a fetch request. So when we click next, then it's this one right here, this facets, slash facets, kind of an interesting uh, URL structure. But then you can see in the payload, even in the, um, so yeah, this is the payload, and then this is the response. But in the payload, you can see that the path equals uh, my path right here. So you can see, da -da -da -da, right there, and page one, so that makes sense. And the response, you can see all of the companies here problem for us is that this is HTML, so it just makes it a pain. We have to parse it all. You would rather that be uh, um, JSON, but whatever. And since this is a get request that you can see right here, um, usually I start off by copying as node fetch, but I know that that doesn't work that well. So all you have to do is actually, we're just gonna copy this URL right here. And then you're gonna use got scraping uh, so this is an awesome package by the folks at Appify. So you just npm install got scraping and then can use that. And it works really, really well. So then all we have to do is yeah, paste in that URL. And then we're going to interpolate with these backticks for the page number. And then you can, in the path right here, which is what I've done for that tool, you can interpolate uh, the path. And if you see these percentage two characters, uh, those are slashes. So to demonstrate, if we come up here, da, 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 and we grab this path, we go to the console, and then we say um, like encode URI component. Oops. Then yeah, you can see those percentage two and F. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay, it's percentage to F right there. So then if we want to decode that, we can just grab all of this. And we can say decode UI component, and then boom, like that. So just fun fact. And then you can use, I use smart proxy URL. You can see right here that I tried all of these and uh, they worked just as well. Like, yeah, all of them kind of, all of them got blocked pretty heavily. So what I do for that is in this catch right here, in this try catch, so you have a try catch, uh, when it errors, and what I say right here is if res status code doesn't equal 200, then throw an error. And then I you know, say if retries is less than 30, and so retries is passed in right here, then just continue to call it so it's a recursive call. And then if it fully errors, then we're not gonna return anything and then really make it error out because if that happens, then bad news. And then we can't really progress in the script. Um, and then this is, this timeout in retry, 
the retry is there just for the timeout. So the timeout we want to set for 10 seconds because we don't want this thing lasting like 30 seconds. So I'm just going to say, hey, if it doesn't return in 10 seconds, then just cut it off and then we'll retry down here. So to see that in action, and then I will post the results to test.html. So that's what this is doing, fs.writefilesync. Uh, the res.body is the HTML. So let's go ahead and run that. And yep, yeah, okay. So we're going to run that. And my file is called clutch.js. So I, I just called node clutch.js or the file name to run it. Sweet, so that worked in the first uh, result. And also, so I use smart proxy and I believe I have a, an affiliate code in the description. So if you use that, um, that would be amazing. I get a little bit of kickback from that and you might get a discount. Uh, but that would really, really help me. So I would appreciate if you use that, if you end up using Smart Proxy, which is the main one that I use. Um, so then let's see what this looks like. So you'll see a bunch of HTML, so a pain for us, we have to um, actually parse that. You can see that we have the correct page, it looks like, social media marketing, influencer advertising. Let's see if they have, if we can find the correct number of companies. So eight, seven, yep, yeah, right there, boom. And thankfully for us, they have really nicely named um, classes. So that's amazing. So I, in order to get the total pages, then I just created a separate uh, function where you pass in the HTML and then we're gonna use Cheerio to parse everything. So then to get the total companies, and then we're gonna grab those class names right there and then text trim replace turn it into a number, and then we get the total companies. And then that's the, the biggest thing. There is, so there are some, um, well, I'll get into that later. But yeah, that's the biggest thing. So then you just loop through and then um, get all the pages. Oh, yeah. So then when you get the page, um, you want to obviously get all the companies. So here, so I'm on page one for this. Let's see if Avenue X is here. Avenue X or Z, oops, Z. Yeah, so we can see that that is here. And lucky for us as well, like the, uh, the structure is pretty easy because it's just an ID, which is providers list and then uh, yeah, it's a UL, which is an unordered list, and then they just have a everything like in a list item, it looks like. Yeah, so what did I do here? So I believe that's exactly what I did. Yep, so we're just looping through all of the um, providers and then just extracting everything. And this is really uh, just boring stuff, um, just blocking and tackling. You know, just ask ChatGPT to find this stuff for you or whatever, but... Uh, yeah, you have to go through each thing and uh, extract it using these selectors. So if, if you're a little bit familiar with jQuery, it's it's just like J, jQuery. Uh, now the most important thing is this uh, external website. So if you notice here, then if you look at that um, URL right there, right there. So I'm hovering it over it here and you can see right, you can't see me right here, but in the lower, um, left. You can see that it's uh, r.clutch.co slash redirect. And if we inspect that, actually we should just be able to find it here. So if we say um, visit website. Yeah. So you can see that they are a little bit tricky because they don't just give you the uh, website. So the website you think would be there would be this avenuez.com. And if we search for it in the HTML, okay, maybe it's there. Shoot. Transport URL, transport URL, U equals, man, did I miss that for everything? Huh, visit website. Visit website. Da, da. Okay, let's try the next one then. This one should be higher influence. Uh, 
NPC clutch. Okay, yeah, so I'm not crazy, I don't think. So if you look at here, u equals ppc.clutch, so they don't give you the URL. So higher influence, if we look at this, Da, 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 PPC element data link clutch.co right there's no clutch.co PPC clutch click influencer da, 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 da. right so right here you're not gonna find the website it does not exist anywhere in the HTML Higher influence dot com, right? Da 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 da. Yeah, I don't think so. So, yeah. How do we get then this little guy? So if we like copy the link address, look at this. It is total malarkey, total crap. Yeah, this redirect here, but it doesn't actually give you, there's nowhere that it tells you what their website is. So how do we then turn that into this, this higherinfluence.com? And the answer is, all you have to do is just make the request. So to get the external, so I call it external website, you can call it whatever you want. And for some reason it's like in two different places. So I say if it, yeah, if external website, blah, if it's there, if it's there, whatever. So to get the actual website, then what I do is da, 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 use got scraping again. You can use Axios if you want, um, but it, with got scraping, it's really easy to add a proxy. So you just add proxy URL and then that's it. So you just visit the page. So I call it external website and then it'll give you um, the actual website. So instead of response.body, you just say response.url and then we're getting rid of all the query parameters like this. We don't really care about those things because these are just uh, tracking uh, for to attribute it to clutch. But yeah, that's it. So that's how we get the website, which is the most important thing. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So some instances you're actually going to have to go to the profile page. So when we JSONify this, so we do all the things, so we JSONify. So sometimes you need the clutch uh, profile page, which is right here. So the profile URL, really easy to get because yeah, these are the, uh, that's the path. So that's gonna look like this. So sometimes we actually need to go to the um, website for some reason, or the clutch profile page to get the website. For some reason, it uh, doesn't have them all in the uh, search results page. It doesn't have all of the websites. So that's really weird. So what I do for there is, um, da, 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 da. oh, I think I have to go down here and then get the actual website, which, uh, so if they don't have an external website, then I try and find, yeah, the company there. And it's the same thing for get profile page. So we just got scraping, yeah. Pass in the profile page URL, and then we uh, parse everything with Cheerio. Da, 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 and then get the uh, website. But that's basically it. Most important thing is uh, obviously like use got scraping, use proxies, and then they're going to fail. So then just do a bunch of retries, unless you have a better proxy than, than mine. If you do, then let me know. But uh, that's pretty much it. And then all you have to do is just extract it, everything, which is um, you know just a pain, but it's not very hard. You have to JSONify it using parse all the HTML into JSON using Cheerio, and uh, that's it. So yeah, if you um, are interested in learning more about web scraping, you can pick up my course, uh, which I don't know if I have readily available. Hold on.